Good morning everyone, this is Sandy with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We're starting a little bit early today. I have a call I have to be on at noon, so I thought we'd just go ahead and start at 11, and you can just watch whenever you have time. We did a drawing for our cards that we made last week. Um, our winner is Crystal Shaw. Crystal, I'm going to set these aside for you and get those to you. Um, don't forget that if you share today's video, uh, you'll be entered into a drawing to get the cards from today. Uh, just remember, um, I don't know what Facebook did, but if you share this on Facebook, I could not see who shared, so I had to go by who told me they shared. All I could see was six shares and they must have adjusted privacy settings or something. I know they're switching some things around, so I couldn't see who shared. So if you share, just post in the comments that you shared so I know. All right. So today's project is an inspiration card. I haven't done one of these in a, in a little while, so I'm going to flip you around and show you what inspired me to make this card and how that came about. Just flip it upside down. I know my hand probably went in the camera. Okay, we'll give that a shot. Okay, so I was scrolling through uh, Pinterest and while I was, at the, I was at the craft store the other day, I don't normally go to the craft store, but I went and of course all the fall decorations were out and I, for some reason, I love all the black and white um, checked Halloween stuff. I don't know why that appeals to me, but there was a huge section of it. So um, I came home and I was looking on Pinterest to see if I could find some inspiration for a card today and I saw this, which I just think is adorable. I love the little white pumpkins. I love the black and white theme. I have a lot of gray and black in my house. Uh, so I thought I'd make a card inspired by this. So let me show you the card and then I'll show you what I used to get there. So this is the card that I came up with. It's, um, I used um, some black and white checkered designer paper I used some pumpkins and some different leaves. So, I'll show you the stamp sets I used first for the Hey There Pumpkin. I didn't have an Hello Pumpkin. I didn't have Hello Pumpkin, but I did have this Harvest Hello stamp set with the Hey There Pumpkin. Now, this pumpkin was a little big for my poor card to do this look I was going for, so I just used the sentiment. And then I used the Gather Together stamp set, which I used the two pumpkin uh, images, and then I also used this wheat image. And then for all of the fun little leaves, I used the Beautiful Autumn stamp set, and I used, there's a punch pack that goes with it. It has the two different leaves. I've got like an oak and a maple leaf. It also has an acorn, which I did not use the acorn for this set, um, but I did use the uh, this image and this image. And then I also used the sprig punch, um, just to add a little bit of green in there to give it a, a little bit of contrast. I just used soft sea foam. So with the papers, I used uh, Whisper White Basic Black, um, some soft sea foam for the little sprig punches. I used some crumb cake. And then I also used a little bit of this fun velvet vellum, which is in the holiday catalog. Oh, I had it marked. What happened to it? It bent over. So it's in the poinsettia um, place suite. So it's the plush poinsettia specialty paper. And I used this image, and so I punched a few little leaves out of that. Uh, this is the this two stamp sets that I use. These are both in the mini catalog. And then here is the designer paper I used. I have adhesive everywhere. Uh, so this is a plaid tidings designer paper. Uh, I've been using this a lot for our retreat projects. 
Um, and then, but I really like this black and white. I didn't use that for the retreat, so I had an extra piece that I could use for this card. So, we'll move all this out of the way and I will show you, we'll get started. I'm gonna just set that aside so you can kind of keep an eye on that. So we started with just a plain Whisper White card base. I used the thick Whisper White for this. I've got shadows here. Okay. So then I just had a strip of basic black and a strip of the black and white checkered or plaid um, designer paper. Before I glue this down, I'm going to stamp a couple of the um, wheat images over to the left just to give it a little background. We'll do one, two, a little extra fun texture on our uh, DSP. All right, I do have some adhesive somewhere. This is double-sided, so this is kind of a fun, that reminds me of one of my dad's shirts. My dad wore a lot of plaid. And that looks like one of his shirts. So it's always a nice, nice memory. All right, so we're gonna just adhere this to the middle of the card. Hopefully straight. All right, then we're gonna do our sentiment. This is just a black circle that I cut out. What size is this? This is a little over two and a half by two and a half, so I use the circle, layering circles dies for this. Then we're going to stamp Hey There Pumpkin using some Versamark. Let's stamp it over to the right. We'll use a little bit of white embossing powder. I put mine in a little tub. It's got all kinds of debris in there. The debris won't stick. Uh, but I do need to probably sit that or something. It was near my die cutting table at an event and got a little bit of uh, debris in there. All right, we're gonna heat emboss this real quick. I love stamping and embossing with white on black. adhere this not quite in the center I'm going to do it a little bit to the right because we're doing uh, building up our wreath more on the left side so this doesn't have to be quite centered but I want to make sure my sentiment looks straight all right now I have already just to save some time stamped and cut out now I use my scissors there are dies that will cut out this pumpkin and then this was the double pumpkin. I just cut out the smaller one. There are some dies that will cut that out. However, I just went uh, with my scissors because uh, I didn't want a border on these. I just wanted them to be cut out without leaving any white around it. Let's see, I'm gonna pop those up right about there. Now I've colored these stems. Let's see, what color is this? No, nope, let's move this slate. I'm going to use a, a light basic black. This always looks blue, so it throws me off. I have to make sure I read it right. I'm just going to use my light basic black blend to color the, the stem. All right, that's it. That's all the coloring, which I like about this. Not a lot of coloring on this card. So I did cut out a couple of sprig punches with the soft sea foam. So with this card, I'm just going to start layering. I'm not going to use a whole lot of adhesive. I'm going to use some of my Tombow. And I'm just going to put a little adhesive on the base because I'm going to do some layering. Now for this one, for the bottom one, I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to do a shorter sprig near the top. I'm going to just add this right behind the pumpkin. 
So he's kind of popping out there. And then this one is down a little bit. A lot of this type of arranging is just kind of arranging as I go. So we've got some um, leaves that I stamped and punched out with crumb cake on crumb cake. I have one more of these. I have some leaves that I stamped crumb cake on white. Let's see, we've got a couple of each. I have extras just in case. And then I just punched out a couple of these vellum, the flock vellum. So make sure I do the flock side up. Let's see, I think I did a couple in these. So I just did a bunch, and now I'm just going to kind of playing with arranging. So we'll just put a little bit of glue. I'm going to start kind of on this end. Or maybe we'll start. I don't know. I just kind of go all over the place. I just start poking things in and seeing how they look. So this may look totally different than my other one because I'm just kind of messing around with it as I go. I do want to add one of these leaves in here. I'm going to cover up too much of the green. Let's do one more. We'll do this light one. Layer it under there. All right, we'll go with that for now, and then we may come back. I'm going to add a bow right here, but I think I'll put just a little vellum leaf right under where my bow is, where it's going to be to fill in, and then maybe one of these, maybe a bigger maple leaf over on this side, just to make sure I've kind of got my background covered a bit. Alright, and then we'll do one of these under our pumpkin. And we'll add a white one. I'm just kind of layering. Layering a few things and a vellum. Let's see how that looks. And I kind of do it quickly so I can slide it in before my adhesive dries. Gives me a little bit of room. All right, we'll see if we need to add any more in. I think that's good for right now. I'm going to tie a double bow and put that on. I was going to kind of show you, if you haven't seen, I use a, this is a spatula I bought at the dollar store. It had a, it had a top on it, so I had my husband just cut it off, make sure all the tines were smooth, and this is my bow fork. It makes three sizes of bows, and I'll show you how I make a bow with this. I'm going to take, this is just the quarter inch crinkled seam binding ribbon. I'm going to lay this across the front. I leave a little bit for, for the little tail. I don't want the huge bow, and I don't want a little teeny bow. You have to make sure you have an even number, so I have two, four, six times on this. I'm going to go to the next one in wrap it around the back and bring it up. So I'm just wrapping around the center four. And then for a double bow, I'm gonna wrap it around again. And for a triple bow, you just wrap it around a third time. All right, make sure that it's all nice and flat, not twisted. All right. Then we can cut this off and I try to make the tails fairly even. So pull it tight. Now with this one that you had wrapped around, whoops, don't let it get away. Hold your thumb there. I just put it in the middle, in between those two middle tines, pull it through the back, and bring it up and around, still staying in the middle, around all of your ribbon. And then just tie a half knot right here. This is actually the back of your knot. So you just tie it once, flip it over, and there's your bow. I mean, how easy is that? 
So when I make bows for class, I just make them all like that, and it goes very quickly. And then you can kind of pull it apart so you can see both layers. All right, I'm going to attach this with a glue dot. And here's a little tip on our glue dots. They're on the outside of the roll. So always leave a little length of um, the paper around it so they don't come off in the box. All right, let's stick this on and get a glue dot. I'm going to put my bow right in between my pumpkins. I think on my last, on my sample, I stuck it to one of the pumpkins, but I have room here to put it in between. Trim off your ribbon to where you want it. And then last but not least, we're going to add a few pearls. I thought about what can I add on here that would be cute, and I want to stay with a black and white theme. We do have the black iridescent pearls, but uh, they were a little dark on here. So I am just going to go with some of the smaller pearls. I'm going to put two on my black circle so they stand out nice. And then I'm going to add another one, maybe up here. And I don't know. I think I might do one more down here, or one more over on this side. You can add, you can put them wherever you want. That one didn't go down. Stuck to my finger. Do I want one more? Mm, why not? I'm going to add one here. Just because I can. That's so cute. So here's our sample. Here's our new one. Looks a little bit different. Pumpkins are positioned a little differently, but still very similar. All right. Well, thank you all for stopping by today. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to get this uploaded a little later today. And then on my blog, stampingcrew.com, I will post measurements and the supply list. Thanks so much for stopping by. going to be able to get off. I don't know what's happened. Something crazy. All right. Thank you. <laughs>